Hi everyone. So in my last video, I talked about people who were, you know, looking to take the CMOS business and do productive things with it, um, make gels, shampoos, conditioners, things like that. Um, you know, it was kind of like an international plea for like, listen, let's um, let's grow this industry. Let's capitalize on where I've, you know, what I've started and see how far we can take it so we can continue to support the farmers and, um, and employ Tanzanians and make the world a better place because of CMOS. So sitting right here next to me is this wonderful young king uh, from Germany with his uh, fantastic product all the way from Germany. So this is what they're using for their health and wellness. So please introduce yourself and tell us more about your product and what brought you to, ta to Tanzania. Okay. So my name is Yasin. I'm 23 years old and I came to CMOS maybe two years ago when I was like studying African herbalist and I came to Dr. Sebi and I really liked the, the way he thinks and talks because it's like he's talking and thinking the same way as me when I'm in a meditative state but he's always in that in the, in the <laughs> in state, state when he's That's talking. That's just his, his state. <laughs> yes. So I tried to CMOS. I consume, uh, used it, eat it, use it in my hair for everything. And then after maybe one or two, two years of consumption, I was thinking, why not start selling it? Because it's something that I can stand behind. And I don't want to work a job where I don't like feel my heart inside. And with producing Simos gel and gave it to my friends and family, it started that this business started like this. Wow, fantastic. So you're originally from Switzerland. Yes. Your dad is Somalian, mm -hmm. but you now live and work and distribute in Germany. Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. fantastic. So what are your sales like? Like when you when you make CMOS, how long does it stay on the shelf? Mm -hmm. It stay from four to eight weeks, I would mm -hmm. say like this. Yeah. Because uh, we, we have... Uh, we have to work. Like, like where we store it, yeah. we have like a cool storage, yeah. and I put a, a little bit more lime in it, okay, so to that it can, the yeah, mm -hmm. so it can be a little, uh, be good a little longer. Right. And yes. Okay. Mm. And how has sales been for you? Mm. How has sales been for you as far as the CMOS, as mm. far as CMOS con mm. consumption? Mm. How has it been for you? Like you mean how many sales we do? Yeah, like mm. you know, do people buy a lot or mm. you know? Okay, what's it's the like this. Sales like? Uh, mm. I'm working with the with the big online shop, mm. and he's focused on vegan and raw mm -hmm. nutrition. Mm -hmm. From I see my German people. Dr. Raw. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Uh huh. So first in Switzerland, I had maybe like twenty to thirty jars that I sold in mm -hmm. one month, so only like friends, wow. family. Mm -hmm. But then I met the, this guy from this company, mm -hmm. and now before two weeks, we launched the CMOS show mm -hmm. with like a big marketing campaign wow. and we did testimonials and everything, more research. Yeah. And we did like 500 sales in, in the first week. Wow. So it's really <laughs> exploding in Germany right now. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. So you've come all the way to Tanzania to get some mm -hmm. Wani Mama Simas. Mm -hmm. So what really attracted you to like this business, this mm -hmm. particular uh, brand? Mm -hmm. What attracted you to, to coming here and mm -hmm. being here? Mm -hmm. So I was doing a lot of research about Simos in, in YouTube. Like I want to know more about Simos, about the farming, how is it done, everything. Like more professional so then i came across to her documentary where uh, where, he where she shows the simos farms and she travels along the coast of tanzania and i was thinking like wow it's like the first time that i saw somebody do it like this professionals with all the documents and like with open we played with open cards yeah. so i really like this and because we run out of simos in germany I thought I'd go to Tanzania and pick it, pick it up by myself. 
so I had I saw like some people that saw, uh, are selling Simos, but I saw also that you have the Simos coffee. So I thought I just come come to Tanzania, come to the coffee and see the, if I can cafe. find you <laughs> and uh, talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So so that was I'm laughing because. I was sitting here the other day and I saw this tall man walk in and you know he ordered a CMOS drink and I invited him to sit with me and um, you know and he's explaining like I'm here to meet you. <laughs> I'm act I actually traveled all the way from Germany to meet you to get some CMOS so you know it was really it was really very interesting um, to connect with him to meet him and you know what i like about uh his energy is something very similar to to me and the way i think as well you know that the cmos is spiritual like you can't be taking something for your wellness knowing that other people are probably not getting fairly treated for what you are consuming so you know his energy is extremely positive and very um, you know, great, 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 great outlook on the CMOS industry. And that's what we need. We need more young people who are looking at it from the perspective of like, what can we create? What can we do? How can we grow it? What's out there? You know, how can we grow the industry? How can we grow the business? Because in this post COVID-19 world, a lot of us are dealing with a lot of health issues. A lot of people are not getting better. A lot of people are sick every single month. And you know, and some of these people are buying CMOS, but they're not taking it. And they're not, they're not taking it and they're not consuming it consistently. And this is why I believe that these, um, these CMOS cafes are going to become more and more and more relevant and more important. And you know, this month we're going to be doing sweet cold treats with the CMOS. And when we launch that, you'll have a better concept of like the use case scenarios or how you, you know, this can go towards, uh, you know, growing to different franchises and different branding. So, um, you know, it's just really growing the industry. And I'm so very proud of him for Thank getting you. on a plane <laughs> and <laughs> as a young man, as a young 23 year old, first finding CMOS, having the wherewithal and knowledge and insight to say, OK, this is an opportunity, this is an industry, this is something I would like to get behind. People are looking at wellness so I can make the world a better place by getting involved in this. I mean, think of it like at 23, there are many other things that people could be looking at doing and he's focused on CMOS. So if he sticks with this 10, 20 years, you don't know who he's going to be or where he's going to be working on this. And you know, especially that he has an Afrocentric outlook and looking at you know um, things from a, from a perspective of wellness and fairness as well. So I love that and I'm so happy you came and I can't wait for I'm you to, to come back again. <laughs> so y'all, all the way from Germany, y'all can make these decisions as well. Y'all can come too. He came for this and he got it. And we've done all that we can do to make sure that everything you know, is a tip top and he was able to verify our documentation. He came with us with the ministry this morning to get all of our, you know, our final permits and everything. For each and every shipment, we have to go to the ministry. What was, what was that journey like for you? Please See, explain. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, was like driving uh, like a distance that could be driven in 30 minutes or 40 minutes. And we was like, it was like endless, like it was one, two endless hours because of traffic. driving and, and my flight to Germany back is, is coming and we have to do this video and we have to go for yes. the permission and it was a yeah. trouble. But at the end, it's yeah. everything good. So. Uh, but you have had the opportunity to be around me for a few days mm -hmm. and you have the opportunity to see me work mm -hmm. on, at the house and mm -hmm. here. And you know, what is that like watching one person? <laughs> It's really, it's really nice to see, like, you're a, mo a mother and a business woman, woman, and it's really beautiful to see how you manage it and cooking there and Simon's <laughs> there and daughter there and uh, preparing food for me and making sure, uh, yeah, yeah, the ship, the ship <laughs> runs smoothly. You know, Simos is a beautiful business. It's a beautiful business for women to get involved in. It's a beautiful thing for young people to get involved in. 
Um, it allows you the kind of freedom that you need in order to to do other things. You know, sea moss takes six weeks to grow. In between that time it grows, you have to also have something else that you're working on or developing to get it to where it needs to, you know, to, to be. And putting your energy behind that marketing and development and things like that while being a mother. And I, I don't feel run down, I feel alive. I really feel alive and I feel fulfilled and I feel great that you came all this way. So thank you so much and I hope to see you again you soon. I will all right, definitely safe come. travels. <laughs> all right, so y'all, for those of you in Germany, Dr. Raw, get it. He came to get the high quality sea moss that came all the way from the southern coastal villages that was grown in the most beautiful, pristine environment you can imagine. If you can think of paradise, that's where the sea moss comes from. Okay, love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.
just arrived on Sungo Sungo Island and it is beautiful but we're here to do some great work but check out this bay gorgeous simply gorgeous is Ulimboka origin Ndire. I'm a fisheries officer at Songo Songo. But, so I'm here today to meet with the East Africa Seaweed Company. We have discussed a lot about the investment known in the seaweeds, yes. in the eco tourism, mm -hmm. tourism, eco uh -huh. tourism, about the investment in general. Yes. So, me and my fellow community of Songo Songo, we are happy for our investors and we are sure that we will be cooperate with him for this investment which are, are expected to invest in our words song song mm -hmm. uh, we are sure that we will be together with him uh, for sharing different views and uh, to give him the, the any assistance which he, he need from us what is the current state of seaweed how much are people uh, buying seaweed for now for now we are, we are, we are buying for 600 tea shillings tea shillings they are buying yeah. and is that enough not enough for tea all oh yeah, not enough because you, for the for for, for for fish for, for seaweed farming the cost is very high mm -hmm. so the cost is very high when you come to the the, the, the amount they get after the selling is very low so mm -hmm. it's not the, the money they get is not enough to, sure. to live on yeah. right so if we are so now we are, now we are happy to, to meet with this east, east africa, africa. <laughs> because now we, we can get be, fair get fair for our our, our our farmers fantastic mm. and that will help a lot with developing this community mm. developing this small island giving women an opportunity to support themselves, their family, their community, and to build and develop Tanzania and life in general. Yes? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.